Hey, what's happening everyone? Welcome to the channel, I appreciate you being here. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to apply a shimmer effect on your wallpaper in Wallpaper Engine. Um, so what outcome are we looking for exactly? So we're going to allow a beam of light to slowly or rapidly slide down this, our sword here and make it that make have that a metallic and refracting effect on an object of that particular nature so in this in this case it's our um anime girl here with a katana very long katana um so we're going to be doing this today for you so to start off uh the effects tab over here and add and go to pulse and this will give us our desired effect now you might be wondering why pulse well you'll see eventually when we get into it um so at this point what we want to do is make a opacity mask so we're going to paint and what we're going to do is we're just going to put on show mask and what we'll do on the right hand side here is we're going to put tint to red just because it is quite a good uh, effect to use um a uh, color sorry to use in this particular object and it will make it stand out a lot more so what we're going to be doing really at the moment here is try and find the right size probably 12 would do and just go into slightly go along the sword doesn't have to be pixel perfect but do not go outside see there that's a little bit a little bit too much just don't go on the outside of the sword or your particular chosen object as this will obviously go onto your wallpaper in my case it'll be the hair and it will be flashing and we are now approaching the end here which is good So essentially, what you want to do at this point, um, if you, I mean, you can go all the way um, and do it pixel perfect to the end, entirely up to you. Uh, for me, I'm going to, just because I like to see all of it in its glory. So, um, let me just do these. So... Uh, once you've done that, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to, um, we're going to obviously click OK. <coughs> and there is our gym mask. Now, it doesn't look great at the moment, but you'll see eventually it will look OK. Um, we're going to hide it at the moment. And... We are going to go down uh, to this right hand side here and what we're going to do is we're going to export texture file uh, so you can call it whatever you want um, in my case i'm going to call it uh, shimmer mask um, probably call it two So what we want to do now in particular is to get this uh, image in particular. It is in the link in the description box below. Um, it will lead you and take you to where to get this particular uh, PNG file. Uh, it's basically just a beam of light. Uh, and what we're going to do once you've downloaded it. Um, so download that and then save it wherever you want. 
And then once you do that, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to import it into our picture and press OK. So now we have this. Now, you can't see anything at the moment, of course. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put up scale a little bit. So probably about uh, 10 and then uh, same again, 10. Um, maybe a little bit less actually because it's quite a, quite a narrow sword. Um, you'll see what I mean. Um, so probably 7. 7 looks like a good one actually. So what to do after this? Uh, what we need to do is to add the effect of scroll. If I can find it there. And what this will do is it will, it will move the actual image of the beam image. Um, and I mean, you can fiddle around this thought where you want, um, uh, to what speed you want exactly. Um, for me, I'll probably have it like a two or something, or not a two, maybe um, probably like a one on each. Seems like a pretty, uh, pretty nice, yeah, I'd say a pretty nice speed that one. So what we want to do now guys, and once you've done the scroll, we want to add another effect called transform. And what this will essentially do is you can move it an angle uh, to which you want. So for me, it'll have to be uh, probably something in the lines of that. Maybe one one minus one forty, I'd say. Um ten forty. Yeah, something like that would be pretty nice. So once we've hidden this, we are now going to get our shimmer mask that we had before. Um the opacity mask and we are going to it into our image now as you can see it's a little bit small at the moment so what we're going to do is we're going to scale it two and two on the x and y axis and then just do um and 60 and then uh, 540 so that's for a 1920 by 1080 um, pixel wallpaper image. So now it is like literally on the dot, all good. So now with this in effect, we are going to now go into the effects and we're going to choose blend, which is our next effect to put on. What we want to do is get the beam effect drag it over and point into the blend texture part over here and that will in turn make it blend in to the uh, shimmer mask uh, and that is pretty cool so um, it's going a little bit fast you can adjust it to how much you want as an amount to go through I probably wouldn't go too much to be fair um, I'll probably stick to one um, for now at least until you know correctly what you want to achieve so what we want to do now is obviously make the image go onto the wallpaper itself so what we're going to do we go on to our wallpaper our original wallpaper itself and we're going to add another blend texture effect sorry and what we're going to do is we're going to now put the shimmer mask into the blend texture. And now what we want to do is go on to the blend mode just here and choose linear dodge. And there you have it. We have our shimmer going all the way down the blade in a nice 
little nice, uh, quite nice form going down the metallic part of the blade. Um, again, you can go and choose the options here in Beam or Shimmer Mask to adjust the settings. So for me, I'm probably going to go over to the Beam and edit the... Uh, no, not the here, sorry. Um, the scroll, sorry. And the speed, I'll probably go on and do... So I'm going to do 0 0.5. And there you have it. That is the desired effect, the desired speed I want the blade to come into the image, which is nice. You can also uh, fiddle around with the repeat um, of how many times it repeats, etc. Uh, you can also change the colors. Um, so if you want it in red, going all the way down or something, or something that stands out to the, to the blade. Uh, I'm going to stick with white because that is what it is, really, to be fair. But yeah, I hope this uh, this helps, guys, anyway. Um, that is pretty much the tutorial on how to make a shimmer um, on a metallic object of some sort on your wallpaper. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, found it informative. Uh, uh, check out my uh, workshop on Steam. It's in the link in the description box below um it will show you all the wallpapers that i have achieved over the years over the past four four or five years now uh, that i've been using wallpaper engine um and uh yeah thanks very much guys uh subscribe and like the video if you will uh that'd be absolutely great we'll get into the uh, youtube algor algorithm and uh i'll see you in the next one bye for now